welcome to Hi This. I'm Jono Stewart. And I'm Eddie Stanton. Um, Eddie? Yes? Why are you dressed like that and holding an umbrella? Well, today we're talking about water. Well, yes. Well, I figured it's best to be prepared. My mother always told me to dress for success. Actually, today we're talking about rivers. Okay. Yes, today we're talking about the Avon River. Yes, the Avon River. Hivers, episode three. Take me to the river. The Avon River, or Takara, runs right through the middle of Christchurch. The Avon River precinct is really important to Christchurch's redevelopment. But why is this river so important? What work is involved? Well, will we still be able to use those paddly things? So now, let's, let's take, take me, me to, to the, the river. river. Gonna shake hands around Christchurch, down by the Avon side, down by the Avon side, down by the Avon side. The Avon River Otakaro runs around 14 kilometres on a winding path to the sea. The Māori named the River Otakaro, which means belonging to Takaro, who was an ancestor of the local Māori. Rivers were really important as a source of food, water and a place to gather. As there were no roads, it was also a great way to travel quickly from place to place. When Pākehā settled in the area, they named it the Avon, after the Avon River in England. And the Avon played a big part of how they designed the city. Victoria Square was created as a marketplace right on the banks of the river, honouring it as a place for gathering and celebration. After the quakes, there's been a great opportunity to revitalise the Avon and make Christchurch a city that faces the river. Hi Biz reporter Hattie had a talk about the plans for the Avon River Precinct. Our talk with Hattie and her purple hat. Hi and welcome to Hard Talk with Hattie. I'm on hunting along the Avon with Te Marino, who's here to talk about the Avon River with us. So what new things are we going to be seeing in the Avon River precinct? Well, one of the things we're going to see is a city that looks down onto the river. So in the past, the city's been looking at the streets, and the city's going to be redesigned so it looks in the river, and the river's going to be the heart of the city. There's going to be more footpaths and green spaces where people can go and enjoy the sunshine and enjoy the river. So there's the promenade where there's going to be uh, shops on one side and a footpath and maybe a street or two for cars and then some good space for people just to relax and enjoy each other's company and enjoy the river. And at night there might be concerts. I think there's an amphitheatre, so it's sort of like a dugout little sort of half circle space where people can sit and look across the river and on the other side of the river there might be a band or two playing music and entertaining people. What kind of things are going to be there for the kids? One of the, one of the great things for kids is there's a new playground being designed. It's going to be a great place for grandparents to take their children and, and mums and dads and kids to have fun and engage with the play equipment and learn about life and, and stories of our heritage, but also have a, a relationship with the river. So there'll be places all along the river for, for the, the punts like we're traveling in and for other types of walker. And so we want to put places like parking stops along the river so all these boats can turn up and tie up, know that their boat isn't gonna float downstream, jump out and have a play on the playground or do whatever they wanna do, go shopping. And maybe in the future, uh, there'll be less cars and more boats, and all these rivers will return to being our highways and byways. Thank you for coming and talking to us. It's been really great learning about the Avon River and its history. No worries. It's my pleasure. It's my first time on a punt as well, so thank you for inviting me. And now, long story short with Y and May. Kia ora te whanau, ko wai tākoa to whenua, ko haere au ki te kirika pō Māori te whanau tahi, kei o tau tahi. Uh, 
te taha awa o otakuru ka koro mai wa ko shale e pana ana ki te awa but where does the river start the river starts all the way up there sort of west of island and it just bubbles out of the ground it's a spring what inspired you to become a scientist that's a good question. I, when I was growing up, I, I loved playing in streams and I lived on a farm and we had a stream running through it and I loved to go in and see what lived in the water. And so when I finished high school, I went to university and learned all about streams and how we can look after them. And uh, now I have my dream job. I wouldn't want to do anything else. See how my arm goes right in there? So that's a really big hole under there. We've excavated all these holes along the rocks and that's where Little baby eels will hide out and all the bullies and stuff will be in there as well. So when we start fishing, we'll fish along this edge and we'll see how many we can pull out of there. If we see a big eel, we'll need the big net to catch him. If you can bring the buckets up guys, that'd be great, thank you. Okay, we're gonna start putting the current through the water. You might hear a beeping sound. Okay, on. Right in the middle of that net, there's a little shrimp that's called a paratire. Just gently hold them in your hand. That's a free living caddisfly, and that means that it's a healthy stream if you find lots of those guys hanging out in there. It's another bully. Put them in the bully bucket. Hey, we've got an eel. So those little young long fins like this cover of the rocks here. How many types of fish are in here? Well there's lots in here now. Before we did all this restoration I think there was only short fin eels and common bullies because the habitat wasn't very good. It was all the same and all silty and muddy. And so we dug all that sediment out and then we built these little low banks to narrow that channel and that helps to increase the flow of water. This fast flow, this is what we want in the river because this is where you get all those special fish that are only found in fast flowing water and this is where we'll keep those nice cobbles and those nice stones free of silt and stop it from silting up. Yay, good spotting. This is that bluegill bully. So in here, there's a little bright flash of blue. So that's a threatened fish in New Zealand. So it's really neat to see them in here and they, ne they weren't in here before we did this work. So that's a really good sign. Oh, they found a big eel. Okay, I need that eel net. Are you gonna be all right with that? Yep. How is that, eh? Pretty cool. So we'll have to put him to sleep and we'll get a measure of him. How old do you think it is? Well, they grow, they don't grow very fast. So because he's 850, he'd be about 60 odd years, if not more. Maybe so it's like, um, almost like a grandparent. Maybe these are grandchildren? What are your hopes for the future about this river? What I would love to see for this river is a river that we all care for and that we keep clean and we keep our rubbish out of it. A river that you guys can bring your children down to and you could do some fishing like we've done here today and you could pull out some amazing old eels and lots of different fish and you could sit by the river and hear it babbling and hear that fast flow and I'd like to see the river as clean as we've made it with the nice clean gravels and not silted up like it used to be and something that we can all be proud of. Tēnā koe, mihi māoha kia koe hei whakātū e nei e ka pai. He mihi māoha ki a koutou e mā takitaki ana. Nō reira, tēnā koutou. Thank you guys, it's been an absolute pleasure spending the afternoon out here with you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, time to say goodbye to the eel. Bye! <laughs> In the new Christchurch, 
the Avon River, Otakaro, will once again be a vital vein running through the heart of the city. Thanks for watching Hydras. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Hivers. Coming up next episode, The Road Conspiracy.